Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm doing another Draw My Bit Life, but this time I'm gonna try to get this character famous. We're off to a really good start because Sulema Zafar is really, really pretty right out of the gate. She's like the prettiest baby that I've ever seen randomly generated. Just like her big sister though, she's not very smart, um, so maybe we can work on that, or maybe she won't need it. I start aging her up and she gets sick almost right away, but luckily the doctors here seem pretty good because they clear it up with no problems. Her parents produce another beautiful but stupid little baby, so now she has a little brother named Rahul, and they also get her a dog named Fluffy, um, who looks really cute in the icon and has very, very good stats. Sulema seems to be getting prettier and dumber every single year, um, which is a little concerning. She's getting dangerously low on the smarts category. She only gets to a 14% on her smarts before she is graduating from high school. Um, she's only 14 years old, so apparently she can already go to university. I decided that considering we just want to get her famous, I don't think she really needs to go, though unfortunately she's also too young to get any like acting or modeling jobs yet. When she turns 15, her father tragically passes away of cancer, which is really, really bad for her happiness, though she meets a cute boy named Mustafa Basara, and going out with him brings her happiness back up to a 50%. I mean, to be fair, they are a very good match. They're both beautiful but dumb as a rock, um, though I do think that it's surprising her happiness could bounce back in the same year so quickly. The very next year, it's time for her to take her driving test, and she manages to pass it with ease, um, which makes me think that maybe they should make the questions harder if your character is more stupid. I feel like that is actually like a good mechanic, I don't know. While waiting for a job to open up that can get her famous, I decide to make her an ice cream scooper to make a little money, and then the very next year, I'm looking through the jobs and I see something that might just work. That's right, she's gonna be a foot model. That's where you have to start off when you're entering the modeling career, so... She puts down her ice cream scoopers and takes out her foot... feet? She takes out her feet. Hopefully there's lots of different socks and sandals companies that are waiting for a good pair of feet to sell them, um, because she really needs to succeed in this job in order to get promoted, in order to become famous. You cannot become a famous foot model, you have to go all the way through the ranks um, to eventually a runway model, which I believe is the top choice. I send her to the gym to make sure that her feet are in shape, and then Mustafa dies at 20 because a uh, bomb detonates around him and it kills him, which is horrific. Um, it made me remember that uh, she's living in a war zone, which is really sad because we were just having a fun time uh, being a foot model and now the boyfriend she's had since she was 15 is dead. She ends up meeting someone new, uh, Nadir, who's five years older than her and also very handsome, but it only cheers her up a certain degree. She's still extremely sad, which is quite understandable because who could have predicted such a terrible thing? I decided she should just throw herself into her work because she's going through such a hard time, so I have her go to the salon and work harder at her job, hoping that she can uh, be promoted from a foot model. I also had her join social media because that's a really important part of her becoming famous, though apparently she's bad at it because she keeps getting zero likes over and over, which is, um, yeah, that's not going to help her get famous at all. She finally gets that hand promotion she was looking for, uh, so her modeling portfolio is expanding a bit, and also Deer proposes to her, um, which I decided to accept because the relationship is really good. She must have been one heck of a hand model because in only two years she manages to be promoted again to catalog model, which is a really big deal because there's only two more uh, stages, so she's getting really close to the final stage, at which point she might become a supermodel. Someone insults her mother, which cannot stand because this is the only parent she has left. She ends up losing an eye to this rando and the police don't even catch her, which really sucks. As if that doesn't mess with our modeling career enough, she's also pregnant right now, which is really interesting, though I guess there's a maternity section in most catalogs, so maybe this will just open up new jobs for her. Apparently she did great because the very next year she is promoted to a lingerie model, and she has a son who I named Buckles. He's a bit more well-rounded than we were, which is good because uh, with smarts as low as we had, it's been a struggle to even get it to 30%. We vaccinate our boy, and in a couple years of self-improvement, she gets to runway model. Now, this is the final stage, which is really, really exciting um, because it means that at any time we could become famous. 
Apparently she was so excited she got pregnant again, so there's another baby on the way, and our a million year old car is having a lot of trouble. We might have to get a new one soon. The next year her mother dies in crossfire between opposing armed forces, which is really, really tragic. Um, Sulema was really close with her. They watched lots of movies together, and um, I feel like I really wanted to name her daughter after her mother, but I couldn't remember what her name was, so um, instead we just named our daughter Sadness. After honestly being kind of obnoxious on social media and spamming it constantly, she finally has enough fame to be considered famous and is a supermodel. It's a good thing too because she's already 33 and I know that the supermodel career is actually time limited so I was getting really stressed that she wasn't going to make it. I wanted her to get verified but they totally snubbed her and I understand the feeling. Let's just say Twitter's very hard to get a verification check on. So the new fame tab has four different things that she can do now, but she gets rejected for the bottom two. Um, there is a commercial that they want her to do, and it boosts her fame when she does it, and she also makes a ton of money, so that seemed really, really good. I sent her out clubbing to celebrate, and apparently she's already famous enough to be getting free alcohol and VIP treatment, though she won't be able to drink them because she's pregnant again. I decided to keep her busy by having her write a book. I didn't have high hopes for it considering that her smarts aren't very high. Um, I liked all the options that you could pick for the title, but surprisingly it became a bestseller and made her a ton of cash, which was shocking. It also boosted her fame past 50%, which is really exciting. I decided since she's a celebrity now, she has to give him an extremely extra name like a lot of celebrities do, though it is hard to outdo Buckles. Like our other children, he's exceptionally beautiful and medium smart, um, which is about as much as we could hope for considering our own stats. I get her a haircut and color which does horribly and damages her look significantly, but we get her some fancy expensive extensions which fix it, and then we get the free VIP treatment at the club we go to. Life is just getting better and better for her, she's getting very wealthy and very famous. Which might mean it's time for her to get rid of her 22 year old car. Um, nobody wanted to buy it predictably so she decided to just scrap it. Though I think if she put her name on it maybe people would want to buy it just because it used to be hers. She finally gets the only validation that anyone really wants which is the blue check mark. And that significantly boosts her follower count and her fame in general. She's at an 82% on fame which is the biggest leap I've seen it have. I thought since our fame was so high we might get some better options when it comes to the photo shoot, but it's still just perverted magazines who only want nude pictures, um, so I decided to hold off on that. Um, the talk shows aren't interested in us. There was a really good commercial that's international, and the reception was really good, though it didn't really adjust our fame too much. I figured since she's a famous millionaire now, she can probably get a new car and a nice house. Um, and I had her write another book called Things I Done Do that became a huge bestseller. I'm starting to think that maybe she should be a writer. She gives $5,000 to her niece and then Nadir gives her a hard time about it, which is insane to me because she has so much money, like why not give some of it away? After doing great on a talk show, she gets to 100% fame, which I figure has gotta unlock some stuff. So the first thing it unlocked was the scary stalker who we called the police on and then the police warned us for wasting their time. She takes on another international commercial which pays really really well but actually reduces her fame a little bit. I guess she's selling out a bit too much. Um, so I decided to win back her fans by doing a risque photo shoot which our husband argues with us about. At this point I'm starting to get a bit annoyed with Nadir and I almost divorce him on the spot because he's seeming really controlling and it's really not cool but I decided to give him one more chance and just get her a massage instead. And surprisingly despite her age she is pregnant again. This girl is very fertile um, so she's gonna have another baby at age 42. Uh, she went on the talk show and that bumped her fame back up to 100% and we had a little daughter which I decided to name Amira which is pretty close to her mother's name but I missed an L in there. Her name was actually Almira but you know you get, you get the idea. I don't know why I can't remember her mother's name for the life of me. I have her write her next book, simply titled Legit, and honestly, the fact that this one became a bestseller too is making me really think that her chosen profession should have been a writer. 
I had her kick Nadir to the curb, but then her brother dies at the age of 41 getting caught in a war zone, and I decided that she can't stay here any longer because she's lost too many people to the conditions where she's living. Also, she gets a really scary stalker, and though the police arrest him, I feel like she wouldn't feel very safe there anymore. I decided they should emigrate to Italy and start the second half of her life. Part two will be out soon. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much to my patrons, including Bella Story, Cal Pompong, Dr. Casket, Elizabeth Album, Imagine Creations, Ivan Rodriguez, JJJ, Joseph Copel, Justin, Carla Tapia, Katie Mary Gold, Cure to Dirt, the Blue Blue Blue, Megan Claire, Micah Dactyl, Mr. Dr. Pants, Norris Cornelson, Nerlathothup, um, Okamore, Ollie, Rosie Warlock, Sergeant Pendulum, Spoy, The Artsy Moose, Your Boy ST, and Zoe Starfest.